I'm live, it says I'm live. This is, I didn't really plan this, so I'm gonna wait and see if anyone comes in. Um, we'll see, we'll see. Some of you might have your notifications on and be like, what, Helen's live? But we'll see. Maybe I should have like put something out on my Instagram first. That probably would have been a really good idea. Oh, hello, someone's here. Hello! I can't believe you've joined me when I've gone live, just spontaneous like this. Yeah, so you saw in the title um, that I privatised all my vlogs. Um, let me just say hello to people. Hello, hello, hello. I'm sorry that I know you're here, but the, the little messages in the comments come up this side, so if I'm looking like this. Also, I am a little bit blind and it's so tiny. So excuse me as I get really really close to you huh yeah it is people are talking to me <laughs> Cameron's meant to be my moderator <laughs> hi everyone hello 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 oh my gosh there's so many of you 82 people in here already hello from Ireland hello put on your glasses honestly they don't do much <laughs> I think I need to go back and get my uh, subscription checked so yeah I wanted to talk about why I privatized all my vlogs because I honestly didn't think any of you would notice but many people have and I've had people worried like where have your vlogs gone so here's the thing YouTube have brought out well they didn't it was the FTC have brought copper laws out that came into effect of January and up until this point, I was like, they don't affect me because I looked at them and it says that as long as your content isn't aimed at children, you're fine. And my content is not aimed at children. My content is aimed at you, is aimed at other like-minded mothers and dads and grandparents. And I'm just vlogging my life. Well, the consequences are so steep that it had me second guessing myself and also wanting to be very, very careful. I'm really well, thank you. I'm a little bit nervous because I haven't been live in a really, really long time. Um, hi Cheryl. So yeah, so the consequences are if YouTube deems your video to be made for children, it's like $42,000 fine. Now that's money that, that's lose my house money over a YouTube video. Hi, hi everyone. Hi Brooke. Hi, hi, hi Ruby. You're absolutely beautiful. Oh, I'm not, <laughs> but thank you. Hi Vicky. You didn't realize that. You may have seen other family vloggers talk about this or maybe pull some of their content and that's why. So. I hope to get as much of my content back out because I'm lucky with Danny, he deals with law on a day-to-day -day basis. So I was panicking because other people have had their channels affected by losing comments and things like that. And um, he, he briefly read into it and he said, Helen, you're fine. It's very clear that your content is aimed not at children, but at parents. Because in the rules, it says things like, you're not allowed to do crafts or you know sing songs or play games the things that are aimed at children a lot of those things are in my videos but I'm not putting them in to aim them at children if that makes sense for instance you know when I done the salt dough cookie ornament things from my perspective I put that in as here's a really cheap fun thing that you can do with your kids like I'm doing with my kids to keep them entertained you know in the winter it wasn't aimed at children it does that make sense but it had me second guessing myself but Danny spoke to me and just said you know it's all about intent you don't have the intent so no crafts I know I know it's like if you do and there's even a part about pets you you can't show pets in a video because that could be something that children would like and it's like oh my gosh it makes it panics you to think well what on earth what can I vlog what is allowed hey Amy Amy how do you feel about the new copper laws are you are you sweating it or are you 
or do you feel absolutely fine? So yeah, um, so with these new rules, you know, it had me sweating, but I spoke to Danny, Danny's reassured me after looking at them, although he says it's very, very grey, it seems ridiculous. It's, they lost a case or something, YouTube lost a big case. When I come off here, I'll go back and there's my dog. <laughs> you can hear her snoring away. I will add some videos of examples of what I'm talking about. No pets, that's sad. Yeah, exactly. It is sad. Channel Mum has advertised us and we're all fine as we are. The thing is, are we though? Because It's very, very grey area. I watched a video and it was a lawyer who looked at the copper law front to back and he's saying the way it stands, the FTC will come direct to the content provider, not YouTube, no one else. And it's, you know, £42,000 fine per video. It's a lot, it's a lot. And um, I'm not really, you know, prepared to risk the chance of losing my house over a YouTube video. That's not what I set out to do. I set out to have fun and share my life. And um, I saw you on Channel Mum too. I joined Channel Mum, but I don't have any interaction with them. It is really scary, but then YouTube makes these changes all the time and it seems like they go after different niches on YouTube and we all have our problems at some stage or another and at the moment you know I actually reached out to Channel Mum and asked for their guidance and said you know I'm a family vlogger and I'd like some guidance and they never got back to me sorry your comments go by so fast what are we talking about we're talking about the new copper laws and so why I've temporarily pulled my videos but what I am planning on doing is I'm going to go through all my videos and re-watch them and think about it and look at it as an like objectively even though I know my intent and I know my intention is for my videos to, is aimed at other parents so I want to make sure I'm, I'm covering myself it's not worth the risk exactly that it's not worth the risk to me at all and I watched some videos that YouTube put out themselves like question and answer and they said you should be okay, but that's not a guarantee. And consult a lawyer. Well, <laughs> I'm not in a position where I can take my vlog and take it to a social media specialist lawyer and have them watch my video before I upload it. That's unrealistic for me to be able to do that. Cost a fortune. I don't make that much on YouTube to be able to even do that. So, so that's why I'm, I'm only saying all this because I've had so many comments like, where are your vlogs? I hope you're okay. I'm absolutely fine. I'm just taking this time to, um, you know, gather my videos, watch all of them back and make sure that they do comply with all the guidelines that YouTube has set. Because if they don't, you know, I'm in big trouble. What about all the gaming videos? It's, it's if they're aimed at children under the age of 13, um, which, this is another thing that really grabs me, and I really don't want to have a moan, but YouTube have come out and said that their content is not aimed for children under the age of 13. It's aimed for like 13 and over, except for they don't like you swearing on YouTube, and they don't like um, anything that would be considered adult. like. I got all these DVDs out earlier and I was like, well this 18, you know, DVD, anything that's on telly that's deemed adult, like 18, has certain things. You're not allowed to do any of them on YouTube. And then you go 15. So things that are deemed 15 in either TV or on DVD, you're not allowed to do those things on YouTube. And then you go down to 12 and I have some 12 DVDs in front of me and it's like contains you know, strong language or this and that. And it's like, well, you're not allowed to do that on YouTube either. So mm -hmm. I don't understand the actual, where they put us and I just don't understand it, honestly. 
surely I'm sorry the comments go by so fast and you know I got my laptop out because I was going to do it on my laptop but I don't have the software to stream live so I'm on my phone unfortunately but there are children on YouTube reviewing toys yes but they have to when we upload to YouTube now and even when I went and done this live you have to say are you aimed at children yes or no and if you are aimed at children they're switching off all the comments they won't recommend your videos, they won't turn on the notification bell, um, the money that you can earn on YouTube is minimal, like they won't do personalised ads, so they can still do them, but the rules have changed around it, so for me to keep my comments on and keep my channel interactive, I have to deem it as made for adults, which it is intended for. Um, but if anyone's trying to be sneaky, that's what they're trying to catch. Anyone that says, yes, my channel is aimed at adults, but are then sneaking in kids' content, they're the ones they're going to get in, so. Mm -hmm. Hi, Taz. Mm -hmm. I really wish that I could see your comments better mm -hmm. and that we could have a proper conversation. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try and get my laptop sorted because now Danny does a lot of late. It would be so cool if I could do more of these lives. And um, mm -hmm. hi, Diane and speak to you more mm. so yeah what are you all up to on this Monday evening mm. let me know that's about all I wanted to say mm. hi Molly mm. hi Lee hi Elizabeth mm. hi Ali mm. hi Gina what's mm. going on rather than me keep rehashing myself mm. you can actually sort of fast forward mm. not fast forward rewind that way mm. the video and catch up on what I've said mm. Mm. Are you allowed to record your children under the age of 15? Well, here's the thing. It says no child actors, but it's what they deem as a child actor. I don't deem my children as child actors, but there's no definition of what a child actor is because they're on YouTube and, you know, so what is a child actor? So until I'm completely sure on all these points, I need to be quite careful. I probably do need to seek more legal advice. Because although Danny deals with legal stuff daily, this isn't the stuff that he deals with. And again, like I said, I watched a video that was made by a lawyer that studied this um, this act, and he said it's very grey, very, very, very... I'm sorry, Amy. <laughs> Please type that again. Yeah, it's very grey, and it's very much like, where do we stand? What is the definition? And because it's new, they're probably going to have to expand on it and then explain it to us better so we know where we stand. But until they do, it's, it's just worrying. It's just so worrying. If you saw Cozy Kitchen, she just changed her channel name. Kelly, she's had her comments turned off. The noise from the dog. I know! Love her little art. Whereabouts are you based in Kent? Unfortunately, I don't give out my location, obviously, to protect the privacy and the security of my family. I just say I'm from Kent, but I don't say the area. I'm sure you can understand that because, you know, people on YouTube and stuff, it can get scary. Hi from Ireland. Hello. More chitty chatty vlogs. Yeah. I'd like to do more lives because then we can really chat and it can be so interactive. You're a great mum to your boys. I mind your parenting skills. It's live and learn, isn't it? <laughs> I think when with parenting, it's like it's hard when you first start, but then you get to a point and you're just like, I, I have no control over this. They're the one that's in control. You know, they're the one that's that makes all the rules, and you learn from them way more than they learn from you. And what is your goal at the end of the day? Is your goal to mould them into? what you want them to be or is it to empower them and have them become who they're meant to be and learning from them as much as they're learning from you and they're all so different so when you hear people say like you you treat your kids differently I, I honestly hands up I treat my kids differently I treat them how they need me to treat them so does that make sense not in a bad way but just like you can get the best out of people in different ways, you get the best out of your children in different ways. Like, 
if I send, if my kids are naughty and I say go to your room, well two out of three, that's great for them. <laughs> They're quite happy there. You have to reach different angles of different of them. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. What about kids on YouTube? Good day. Hello Simone. Does Cameron have his driving test book? Michelle, we spoke about that today. He had a lesson today and his driving instructor said that he reckons it might be time to book it. So that's very exciting. But it takes a while. I think it's about six weeks delay on that to get it booked. I, will. I wonder if I can scroll this. Oh look, I can. There's me struggling and I can, I can scroll it. I never knew I could do that. <laughs> YouTube pro, you know. I work with children in a nursery, play school. Oh, oh, and the policy, safe garden, so over the top. Yeah, I've, I've volunteered in school and done my TA course, and safeguarding is a lot, a lot, a lot. It's, lo it's lovely to see you too. Lucas is waving. Hello, Lucas. Might be a little something coming in the post for you, my dear. Smoke from Scotland, hello. You have 162 watching, I know. I still can't get over it, really. Hi, Lily. Oh my gosh, I didn't know I could do this. That's so exciting where we live. That's a four month wait, wow. Your boys are great. Oh, thank you, thank you, Sue. Have you ever been to Scotland? Um, I dipped my toe in Scotland. Um, my brother, oh, I've forgotten, where's, where's it? Gretna Green? Gretna Green. My brother got married in Gretna Green, so I like, I put my big toe in there, and it was lovely. <laughs> From what I was there, it was lovely. Your whole family are beautiful. Oh, thank you. Cameron from Pennsylvania, hello. Good evening, Sarah. What are you guys up to on this Monday evening? Please do more lives, Lily. It's like having a chat with a friend. It is, I really enjoy this. I used to do, I used to do them sort of once every couple of months, but the last one I did didn't go down very well. I had lots of trolls and it honestly put me off. Oh, they're gone, oh, there they are. Um, it put me off for a while. So Cameron's up there on Troll Patrol. So if you, if you see an A, just ignore them. Michelle, I'm learning to crochet. Brilliant, it's a wonderful thing to do. Louise, you are my inspiration. I'm just a normal mum. We live and learn and we grow. Should in be inspired by yourself. It's morning here, Helen. Oh gosh, what did I do? Oh my gosh. <laughs> about to go to work. Oh, bless ya. It's 10 o'clock at night, I'm waiting for Danny to come home. I really feel for you when your mum visits and you have to do separate meals. Oh, Joe, don't, it's absolutely fine. I used to have my father-in-law live with me. He lived with me for four years before he passed away and I did it for him every single day. He was the exact same as my mum. I think it's like a generational thing. Tips for surviving with the police officer, hubby, and working mad shifts. He's actually, his shifts aren't that bad at the moment um, because he's like community-based policing. So he isn't doing the mad shifts that he used to do when he was on response. When he was on response, that was a lot. Like, we wouldn't see him for a week. We'd miss him. Like, we'd be going out the door to school and stuff and he'd be sleeping when we got in and then we'd just always miss each other and that was hard for him. But this is much easier. Immediate thought of you on the other day, I found a piece of salmon that was originally 16 quid. Oh my, $16, sorry. And yellow tag price, under $6. That's a good deal. What's your favorite dinner to cook? Um, I just, I like chicken and rice. That's probably, because you can throw so much into it. Do you do wedding hairstyles? I don't really do hairdressing anymore, to be honest. It's not something that um, I pursue. I do friends and family. But from that, no, not really. But yeah, I used to. I used to do weddings. Hello, Emily. I love your curry. I love curry. How's Cameron's driving? He's doing really, really well. He had a lesson today, and they're talking about booking his test. Can you do more cooking, cooking and baking vlogs? 
I can try, I'm not very good at baking, unless it comes into a box. Because that's precise, isn't it? And I'm not a precise person, I'm a throw it in kind of gal. I don't measure anything, you know that about me. I wish my Morrisons did yellow sticker labels as much as yours. What kind of area are you in? Because I think it has a lot to do with the area that you're in. Because my area, the shop honestly is just too big for the area. They can't sell the produce, which is sad, but also very beneficial for me. Oh, you've gone again. Always, your meals always look so delicious, Helen. Thank you so much. It is just family meal, isn't it? You inspire me, cause I know you, I know you have done. My dad was recently diagnosed with dementia. And I'm saying strong, bless your heart. Bless your heart. Richard, when he lived it, I loved Richard so much. But that man taught me patience. When you, when you live with someone that has dementia, it's a lot. <laughs> he was like having a fourth kid, but a kid that was an adult that you couldn't tell off. Do you know what I mean? Like, he'd do things, he'd do things like, it's hard to explain. He didn't understand reason like my kids did. And it wasn't because he didn't want to, it's because he'd lost the capacity to. Um, He'd go out and he would refuse to put his coat on and it'd be cold. And with a child, you'd say, put your coat on because I told you to put your coat on, you know. But when you've got an adult with dementia that's refusing to put their coat on, is it's a lot. It's a lot. And it's trying to explain to him, but if he's like, no, I don't need it. And a lot of it was pride. Because he was an older man, he's like, I don't want to put it on because I want you to help me. And he wouldn't accept the help. Hi, Emma. Hi Katie, can you speak another language other than English? I can just about speak English. Helen is the best cook, Lucas. Ah, oh. <laughs> More chatty female videos. We love my chatty videos. I like chatty videos, but I never want to come across as preachy. Do you know what I mean? I don't like that. I want to, I want to, Who's that? Amanda. Um, do I make money from YouTube? Yes, I do, but it's not a lot. Yeah, I want to build other women up. I don't want to... I think it's, it's, there's a fine line with being chatty because, you know, it can come across quite... It's really hard. Maybe message you another day. Yeah, Instagram me. My Instagram messages are open. I chat to a lot of you on Instagram. ASMR, really? <laughs> like eating videos and that. They will make me laugh. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're all so sweet to me. I don't deserve it, honestly. I used to all try for a baby. Oh, I'm over it. I'm over it so much. It's getting to the point with this trying for a baby where I've said to Danny, I think he just needs to have the snip at this point. I'm so over it. It's getting to the point where I'm trying to read messages, trying to talk at the same time, and I cannot multitask. It's getting to the point where every month is so hard and it's so mentally draining and exhausting that I'm like, snip it off, I'm over it. Do you know what I mean? Deep down I do, but I just don't think it's gonna happen. ASMR is so relaxing. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I won't say no more than that on that. I'm sure there's loads of you out there that are trying for babies. Maybe try some beauty videos. Um, well, I've got a review coming up on that face sucker that I, uh, that I bought from the charity shop. If you want, you know, a quick version, don't buy one. <laughs> yeah, damn thing gave me a love bite. Pixie in the background, yeah. And do you know what? I took the cushion off her bed and put it in the dining room so she would sleep in there. But she's like, no, even though my, like her frame's in here, but the actual cushion's in there, she still wants to be in here with me. Let me show you, look. Can you see her? <laughs> so bless her heart, the cushion's not even on it. Because I, tr I tried to get her to go out there because I knew she'd be noisy. She, it's not her fault, she's a Frenchie. Mm -hmm. Took you two years, you'll get there. Oh, I don't know if I will. Because the thing is, 
I had the coil fitted mm. and I had it fitted for too long so the string sort of dissolved and it was mm. a little bit embedded so it was a task mm. getting it out I, TMI I know mm. sorry but I don't know if that did any damage and if mm. I'm healing from that I just mm. I don't know or if it's an a I don't know what it is it's age I don't know what it is mm. but I am over it at this point I'm over mm. the baby making cut it off <laughs> just it's torturous, really. Uh, what theme do you have in your coffee table at the moment? I have Harry Potter in my coffee table. Why English people use me for my? Um, if you're talking about me, I'm probably not talking properly, because, you yeah, know, I'm not the most educated person you'll ever meet. What inspired you to do mm. your Yankee Candle collection? Mm. Um, I just I just liked them, mm. and then I think. Do you know what I think it is? I'm a bit of a miser, in I so mm. if I buy something and I like it, I don't mm. necessarily want to use it, but I want to have it. Mm. Does that make sense? Like, I mm. do burn my Yankee Candles, but mm. I don't want to burn all of them because then mm. I won't have them anymore. Mm. So I can appreciate them mm. and smell them and have them for longer if I don't use all of them straight away. Does that make sense? And yeah, exactly, they look lovely in my room, so it's kind of a, if I was to move one, there'd be a gap, and then I'd be sad. And plus I burn incense like all the time. That's the main fragrance that's going on in my house. You was damaged from a coil, which they suspected it took me two years so if that's probably what's happened to me Vicky eh? Mm. are you still talking about your TCC journey I'm over it honestly nice K I'm over it Danny can cut it off as far as I care I'm over it what time does Danny get home Danny's shift He's scheduled to finish at 10. He was on 12 till 10 today, but with his job, that means absolutely nothing. He could be home, gone. He could be home in 15 minutes. He could be home in an hour. He could be home in three hours with his job. Time is not something that really uh, works that way. You just bought a wax warmer. See, Gloria, I'm not 100% about these wax warmers. I have one here. But I don't put the oil, I don't put the tart things in there because it doesn't heat up enough to throw the scent. So I've actually got in there like these little simmering beads and then I add essential oils and stuff into that. That's what's in there because that is actually on, you just, you can't tell, but it is on. Has Cameron booked his private tech? <laughs> Sometimes my brain thinks quicker than my mouth can talk. I need to slow myself down. Has Cameron booked his driving test? He had a lesson today and we spoke about it. He's gonna be booking it soon. Which room do you want to decorate this year? We, me and Danny did talk about the things we wanted to get done in the house. Um, the downstairs spare room, that desperately needs doing. Um, we did that room when I had Ollie, because Ollie was born in that room. And uh, so it was done half hazardly it needs to be sort of ripped out and done properly i'd like to get that room done really that's the room my mum stays in when she comes down so i'd like to get it nice where have you gone joe you need to go to the doctors my dear it doesn't matter if you're not trying to conceive you need to go to the doctors honestly sweetheart Promise me you will. I don't want to tell you any horror stories, but just please have a feel yourself and make sure you can feel that it's there. And if you can, that's a good thing. If you can't, honestly, get yourself to the doctors. Miss F, we are going to warm well. I watched your vlogs. Oh, warm well, stunning. When are you going, if you don't mind me asking? If you don't mind me asking, let me know when you're going, Brooke. I had to change the bulb in my wax warmer. That's a really good idea, Brooke. I didn't think of that. See any more ghosts in your house? Um, no. It's been quite quiet. That's all the incense I burn. 
September. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. We're going in April. Where's the best place to buy cheap Yankee candles? Honestly, wait for the sales. Boots after Christmas in the Boxing Day sales have huge discounts. All my candles I got in the sales. I didn't pay full price for not a single one of them. What about some cleaning routine vlogs? Um, yeah, Katie, I have loads of them and I just feel like they're a little bit boring. Like. They're good, I enjoy doing them, but you can only watch me hoovering me rug so many times, do you know what I mean? Before, because it's the same scenery, I'm doing the same stuff. Hi Lisa, and I just, yeah. I don't mind putting a bit of cleaning in here and there, but I don't want that to be my sole focus of my channel, because it get it gets boring. How do you stay so slim? Um, I think, I think, I don't know. I think, I don't really eat in the day, which I know is so naughty, but, um, so I kind of, Danny says I intermit fast without even trying. I never have done, even when I was small. I have my dinner and I have supper. And um, sometimes I'll eat in the day. You know, like some certain times of the month you get really, really hungry. I may eat in the day then, but generally not. Everyone else does, it's just, I never have done. Sorry, Brooke. Did you guys get your money back for that secret event? No, because we didn't pay. We actually won the tickets and uh, they weren't very helpful when Danny emailed them. And we did see that people that had bought tickets got to the right location and then was denied access because they'd oversold on tickets. So I think it's quite a sketchy thing, to be honest. You eat when you're hungry, that's the best. I eat when I'm hungry and I generally, because I think I'm in a habit of, I get hungry, at dinner time and then I get hungry a few hours later and I'll have supper, that's generally what I do. If I'm hungry in the day, I'll eat in the day, but I, I don't get, I just don't get very hungry. What Hogwarts house are you and the kids? I don't think we've done that test. That dog, can you hear her? She cracks me up. Any new budgeting videos? This is how I first watched your channel. Um, my, Food shopping is very much, you know, on budget. That's like the main core of my channel, I would like to think, because everything that we do, we kind of do on a budget. The food shopping, sun, holidays, the fact that when we go on holiday, we take all our food and we take everything with us and trying to get, you know, trying to make that pound stretch as much as possible. That's generally what we try and do. So within our lifestyle, I would like to think that's what we're, showing how has the food budget changed since the yellow labels Gloria I've decided to keep it the same although I, I, I can't remember the exact figure but I know I have like over a hundred pound left this month um, which is amazing but I am going to keep it at the same because I'd rather you know aim too high than aim too low because things happen and who, I don't I don't think the yellow label sticker thing is going to be around forever, especially the way I'm broadcasting it. <laughs> you know, they're soon going to catch on to me. What would you do in your dream holiday abroad? I have no... I know it sounds strange, but... I've, I've spoken about this in comments before, but... I went on holiday and had a really bad experience abroad, and since then, I vowed never to go abroad pretty much like when my kids are young at least again I had the worst experience like we was in a villa in Turkey and they sprayed sleeping gas into the vents so while we were sleeping well because we were locked out they robbed us left the door open and then when I woke up Cameron was little Cameron was like three at the time I woke up and Cameron was gone and I thought he'd been kidnapped I was screaming I was hysterical not to mention earlier on that holiday um, yeah, the way he was when he was little oh my gosh sorry Cameron I know he's watching but he ran into the pool by looking the other way and someone had to jump in and save his little booty because he was just that kid do you know what I mean he was just that kid so 
initially I was like, did they take him? Secondly, mm. is he in the pool? Mm. You, worst case scenario, mm. he was actually found wandering on the grounds. Mm. So since then, no, nah, I'm not, mm. nah. <laughs> it's just, it, it was horrific. Mm. It put me off. Mm. I know that's like the most out there story mm. and that, you know, that's not gonna happen mm. to everyone, but it was enough to put me off. Have you been to Scotland? Yeah, I did answer that earlier. I put my toe into Scotland. My mm. brother got married in Gretna Green. So my big toe went to Scotland. That's about as far as mm. in as I got. Mm. How long do you spend in Morrison's to get all your yellow labels? A while. But to me, it's worth it. Like, um, I could be in there half an hour. I could be in there two hours. It just depends on, you know, as I'm walking around, if I see something that I've got my eye on. Um, and honestly, I would just be at home with my feet up watching telly. So I'll get my steps in, walk around Morrison's. I've made some wonderful friends there. They all know me now. What phone do you film on? It's a iPhone, just iPhone 7, nothing, nothing posh. Come to Australia. Yeah, but you have spiders and snakes and scary things. That's... I actually have family in Australia and my nan, she lived in Australia. I'm, so, I'm probably like, I'm looking over here and I do apologise. Would you ever shop at Iceland's? Um, Iceland's is not the kind of shop for me just because I don't use much frozen foods, if that makes sense. And I think their produce is so overpriced because they round it up to the nearest pound. So it doesn't doesn't work out in my favour. Do I have a PO box? I don't, although I am thinking about getting one. Do you still speak to that YouTuber you sent the stuff to? Letty? Yeah, I think Letty's absolutely great. Have you ever been to the US? I haven't. I've been Spain, Turkey and Cyprus twice. I think that's it. Danny has though. Danny's travelled a lot. Me just realising that dog that I can touch this and move up and down and there you go. What made me start YouTube? Um I've always loved YouTube. I love to watch YouTube and yeah, I just loved it. And I was on a Facebook group where I was sharing recipes on my instant pot. And then lots of people were like, share your recipe. How did you do this? How did you do that? And I was like trying to take photos and it got all complicated. And I thought, well, you know what? It'd be really good if I started YouTube. So I started it and I just really, really enjoyed it. You have a lot of loyal subs. Even with bigger channels, don't get many live views. Oh, thank you. I do think I have a lot of loyal subs. I really appreciate all of you. I don't know why you watch me, but I do appreciate you. Have you ever watched Love Island? No, I'm not, I'm not into stuff like that. I don't really watch TV. I mainly watch YouTube. Let me try to scroll back and see. What's your 2020 thoughts and wishes? <laughs> Connor, hilarious. I weren't gonna say it. See how, I'm trying to be really polite here. Um, just every year I like to sit down and look at the year passed and think, you know, I'm, am I in any more debt than I was the last year? We're not in any debt, but you know, financially, am I on track financially? Did anything go wrong? Could anything go better? And then I try and I've learned from those things and move forward. Um, and then I think about family things that we've done. What did we do? What did we enjoy? What can we improve on next year? Things like that. Um, I have, I am so blessed with my life that I just want things to continue as they are. Like, I know you're probably meant to aim and want bigger and better things. I come from a rough background, you guys. I really, really do. Like, to me, this is the best life ever. I know I get lots of comments like, you go sun holidays, like, you should go abroad. And I'm like, no, I'm great, thanks. Best life ever. It, I think um, a lot of it does depend on, you know, what you've come from and what your standard of living has always been like to what 
you think is great. Does that make sense? Mm. I hope that makes sense. Mm. It'd be good if you do more recipes. Mm. I need to find more recipes. Mm. I need to make a conscious effort of going on Pinterest. <laughs> and do you remember I did that for a while? I was trying to find new recipes. Mm. But I always get worried because if I cook something no one likes, then it's a waste. Mm. What's your favourite pudding? I don't really eat puddings, but mm. I, I do like like chocolate things mm. but only a little bit i'm not i think that's another way that i mm. stay slim is i don't have a sweet tooth which mm. is very lucky although i can put crisps mm. away like no one's business mm. Mm. how do you get your children to eat their meals um i never force my kids to eat food my mum used to do that to me mm. but what i do do is mm. the rule stands i'm one of them horrible old fashioned mums i hate to say it but it's true mm. if you don't eat your dinner you don't get anything else. Mm. I know, I know, I'm evil, pure evil, I tell ya. But that's just how I am. Um, they don't have to eat it, but they're not getting anything else. Mm. And at least try it. That's my, at least try it. Mm. And if you still don't like it, at least you tried it, but you won't get nothing else. Mm. And I don't purposely give them things they don't like, apart from caramel with sweet and sour, because the rest of us mm. like it, so he just needs to mm. be a big man about it. You've done the same dinner rules. Mm. It worked for me when I was little. Mm. Hey Suzanne, oh gosh, I keep pressing these mm. buttons. Mm. Uh, mm. You, Danny, and the children have a great family life. See mm. you on holiday and walks and your family time. That's what I love. Mm. I love family time. Mm. Karen, it's all about being grateful for what you have, mm. isn't it? I am so grateful. Did Danny ever fit the glass in your new bathroom? No, that's another job that's been put on for this year. The thing is, because obviously it's going to cost a lot of money for that glass and you have to measure it within millimetres. So he went to a glass place and they did say what he should do is make up like a wooden frame first and then take that down there and then they'll make the glass to fit that wooden frame. But it's fine in the wood, you know, then you're just going to throw the wood away. Mm -hmm. So, part of us is like, we need to just save up the money and then actually pay someone to come in and fit the glass. Because if they make a mistake with how it fits, that's on them, because it's a lot of money otherwise. Mm -hmm. Hi Sarah. Mm -hmm. I love it when you take walks mm -hmm. in the woods near your house, so do I. Mm -hmm. I can't wait for the weather to be better. Mm -hmm. Your boys are so well behaved, what is your secret? No, it's no secret, I just, I don't know. I just have an expectation of them to be good and then, you know, obviously they're not always good, but when they make wrong choices, they face consequences and we talk about it and they understand that I'm not picking on them, <laughs> that dog, I always try and, you know, say to it, imagine that while I'm trying to watch telly, honestly, I always say to them like, if I'm telling them to do something, it's not because I'm mean, it's because there's a reason behind it. And we just talk about things and have discussions. Um, another big thing is I'm not too big to say I'm sorry, because there are some times that I'm out of line and maybe I'm either tired or frustrated or, and I'm just out of line. And sometimes I need to humble myself and sit down and say to them, I'm sorry, I'm tired, or whatever it is, and you know, and say, we all make mistakes, and you have that mutual respect. I'm not above my children. I never think I'm above my children. We all make mistakes, and sometimes I need to humble myself and say I'm sorry, and sometimes they need to humble themselves and say they're sorry, and sort of lead by example. Does that make sense? I like the vlogs you did in the summer with your secret garden. I know, I can't wait to get back out there. My pond looks horrendous. It's all green. Are you still volunteering in a school? I'm not, but I have been thinking about going back. Um, but yeah, that was a lot. That took a lot of my time up. My house was going to shot, everything. That tea must be cold, yeah, it's a bit. <laughs> I don't mind drinking cold tea. How is Liam finding high school? Yeah, he really, really likes it. I was really worried for Liam because 
Liam is the most introverted child, really. He, even with us, he's very, he holds his cards close to his chest. Like you say to Cameron, how was your day? And even if his day was rubbish, you'll say, oh, it was rubbish. If it was good, he'll go, oh, it was good, isn't it? Ollie, very, very extroverted. Liam, one word, answers. How was your day at school? Yeah, that's okay. It's so hard to pull information out of. But, um, yeah, he's, he seems to be doing great. It would be good to <laughs> volunteer in a charity shop. Oh my gosh, could you imagine? I'd be buying everything. My house would be full. Danny would be like, take it back, take it back, take it back. That dog. You have such a lo lovely relationship with your children. That was my biggest goal. That was my biggest goal growing up and is to have a good family life and to have, I always wanted to have, to be a mum. Like when I was little, I say to my mum, I'm gonna be a mum. I wanna be a mum. My mum like, don't rush into it, don't rush into it. I was like, no, I wanna be a mum. And my main goal in life was to have children and to give them good memories. It's also my biggest fear for my children to look back and not have good memories. I just got a full-time TA role in my local secondary school. That's fantastic. Well done, Mel. Secondary school, that's a lot. Is Liam sharing his VR? Yeah, he will. He's a good boy. How is little Ollie doing at school now? He's still having a hard time. Kind of why I want to go back in, but see, part of me is like, let him be independent, you know. He needs to learn to build those boundaries himself. And then the other part of me is like, but I could help, I, I could help. <laughs> and it's really hard as a mum, isn't it? Because his class teacher doesn't have a TA in her class. She's got 30 kids and she's on her own. So it's not even like I wanna go in there just to help Ollie. I wanna go in there to support the class and even if I don't necessarily interact with Ollie. She's on her own, do you know what I mean? And Ollie's struggling, so I do feel really, really bad. What year is Ollie in at school? Yeah, same, year three. Ollie's in year three too. Do you still want a baby girl? I've spoken about that. I'm over it. Chop it off. How did you and Danny meet? Gosh, this is going on for ages. Um, me and Danny met on the internet. Yep, we did. <laughs> Find anything online. We we did talk for a really, really long time before, like we met and stuff like that. We were, but that was a long time ago. It's like 15 years ago now. So yeah, how long should I stay on here? Are you guys bored with me yet? <laughs> oh my gosh. 30 kids. Gloria, thank you kids. I've missed another comment of yours, surely. Danny would want, well Danny says he wants to have like 10 kids, but I said, you left, when I met Danny, Danny was 29, right? And he never had no kids. And I was like, are you sure? And I'm still half thinking there may be some kid that just, well, he'll be an adult now, knocks on the door one day and is like, you're my dad. I was like, you know, especially from the area that I'm from, how does a man get 29 and not even have a scare of having a child? It's, unheard of practically um and he, he was like no nah. he was scared of having children when his friends had kids he didn't want to touch them or go near them obviously i already had cameron and then with him being introduced to cameron it he he was like wow this you know any yeah mm -hmm. so then we decided to have family and it was very slow and steady with cameron by the time we had ollie after we had Ollie, he wanted to go in and have another one straight away. He was like, back to back. I was like, no, 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 I need to heal. I can't do that. Um, and if he, if he wanted to have a bigger family, I wish he'd have let me know way earlier than he did. Do you know what I mean? He took a long time to get into the role of being a dad after being a single man for so long. Um, so it's just the way our life panned out. But yeah, he should have let me know earlier if he wanted 10 kids. <laughs> Gloria, Danny's such a good man. He's such a good man. He's such a good man. 
would you ever sell your house and move somewhere else? Um, it'd be sad to sell this house because when we bought this, it was a repossession. He was in a right state, so we put, we Danny did all the work himself. Blood, sweat and tears went into this house. To sell it and move somewhere else would, would take a lot, honestly, would take a lot. I mean, about a teacher with those students. Ah, oh, I understand, I understand, Gloria. You're definitely not bored. I'm pleased. <laughs> you said Ollie was born in the house. Did you plan a home birth? I did plan a home birth. Again, that, that goes back to my father-in-law living with us. So at the time, so originally I'm from Tottenham, yeah? I moved to the area that we're in now because of Danny's job, because he started the Kent Police. And then, so my mum's not in this area. I had no connections to this area whatsoever. We bought this house specifically because it was big enough that we could take Richard on. Richard was Danny's late dad. Um, and our dining room, we modified into like a granddad annex for him. So because he was living with us, I, I couldn't like just go to the hospital. If I was going to the hospital to have a baby, I was going on my own because Richard had dementia and he had COPD. So he couldn't be left home alone so I was like house confined for a long time. Mm -hmm. We did have carers coming in at stages, but that was more hassle than it was worth. Um, so yeah, story, story, story. So yeah, I couldn't leave Richard and the kids here by themselves if I was going to the hospital, I was going on my own, like I said. So I planned, well, I'll have the baby at home. That way, Danny's here <laughs> to be there for the birth and also look after his dad and the kids at the same time. Um, my mum did come down, but I birthed quick. With Cameron, it took me six hours from start to finish. Liam was three. Ollie was like, maybe like an hour and 40 minutes. Um, yeah. So when I, when I birth, I birth quick. And my mum lives further than that away. So if I was to ring my mum and say, I'm in labour, it's, it's too late at that point. So I had to have a home birth because I had Richard here. What does that tattoo on your finger say? Oh my gosh. It's meant to say Danny, but they messed up. I do have a vlog, even though it's hidden at the moment. Um, I didn't pay. I ended up walking out of the shop. They messed up. Really, I probably should have sued them and had it removed properly, but... It's awful. And that place was recommended. What is your dog called? Her name's Pixie, but she goes by many names. Pixie Lulu, Pixie No, No No, Lolo. She's looking at me. Pix. She's like, what? I'm sleeping. <laughs> yeah, many names. I do that with everybody as well. Ollie, Owls, Little Owls. Any more plans for more tattoos? Um, I would like to have more tattoos. They're very expensive. I did think about having like two pieces here. You know, like the lace effect. I think that would be really, really nice. I would cover myself in tattoos. I love them. And Danny's friend Kevin's wife, Claire, has a tattoo in here. And that looks so good. And I wouldn't mind having one there. I know. Judge me if you want, but I love it. Will you keep this live stream on your channel as an upload? Do you think I should? The thing is, I, I'm back with going dead. I stumble on my words a lot. Um, Cause like I said, my brain generally thinks quicker than my mouth can talk. And I don't want to come across stupid. <laughs> So when I'm recording, if I stumble, I can cut it, edit, and start again. Do you know what I mean? Because I think lots of people stumble when they talk. But unless you're recording yourself, you don't notice. There's a lot of things you don't notice about yourself until you start recording yourself. So before you judge others for the way they talk or the way they come across on video, try and record yourself and you'll be looking... You know like when you think you can sing and then you record yourself and you're like, wow. It's kind of like that with your personality traits, the way you talk and the way you present yourself. 
you have an image of your mind of how you come across, but until you record yourself and watch it back, you have no idea. Yes, I have missed the beginning. I might keep it up for a little while. We'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. You're getting married in October. Any tips to save money? October's a good month to get married. I got married in January because it was like the cheapest. Um, try and make as much stuff as you can. I made my own wine glass charms. I done my own flowers. Um, make as much of it my dress was second hand i don't know how you feel about stuff like that but there's definitely loads that you can do do yourself what music do you like just now um i'm not very good with names of bands and things like that so i can't really like i'll put the radio on and listen i li i like all music i don't like boy bands and i don't like cheesy music i like rock i like r and B. I i like I like lots of music. I love lots of old music, like reggae. Um, yeah, I, I just don't like cheesy pop music. That's not the one for me. Mandy. Hello. I've actually been married twice. And Mandy done my flowers for my first wedding because that was on a budget too. She learnt from the best I did. How do I find so many yellow sticker labels? Patience and perseverance and you have to just kind of be at the right place at the right time. Scrolling. I'm so sorry that I'm looking this way and I know I should be looking this way but the comments are this side. If only they put them that way it would be much, much better. stream away from the dog she's a madam that dog i put her bed like her cushion into the dining room snuggled up next to the radiator so that she wouldn't be here <laughs> but she don't want to be there on her own so she's come out and laying on the frame of her bed so she can be near me i mean i love her let me show you her. let me show you again look she's got no mattress on her bed That can't be comfortable and you know the cushion for that is in the other room she could quite eat, and it's near the radiator imagine that while I'm trying to watch telly honestly and I do get a little bit frustrated at sometimes I'm like pixie pixie and she's looking at me like what I'm breathing yeah oh my gosh I love Frenchies they're the cutest they're cute as a button you can't hear the telly over them though and it's like the more you turn the telly up to hear the telly, the louder she gets. She's hilarious. You like to hear Pixie snoring. Well, I don't. <laughs> the dog is fine. I'm sorry if it's bothering some of you. Wait till the dog farts. She farts all the time. All the time. She's dirty and she's rotten. She's not very ladylike at all. And also with Frenchies, they can't clean themselves. Like she'll lick her paws. But because of the shape of them, they can't like clean themselves. So you need to bath them all the time. So they're dirty, rotten and smelly and they snore a lot. Anything you like on Netflix, wanna get into a series. Have you watched Breaking Bad? Because we watched that and then there was a spin-off of um, Soul. We're watching that currently. I really enjoy that. Do you ever buy anything brand new or do you just buy second hand all the time I do buy things that are brand new but I try not to if I can get away from it I do like to buy second hand I was brought up on second hand things my mum dragged my back round the car boot every single Sunday and didn't do me no wrong and also you can go to a five star hotel and the bed you're sleeping in is second hand and the plates you're eating off of are second hand you know you go to hospital you lay in a hospital bed, it's second hand. That's just the way I see anyway. <laughs> Go to the Ritz, them plates are second hand. Pixie 
Lucy lives there, so she can do what she wants to. True, true story. Absolutely. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've been on for an hour. You promised me you're not sick of me yet. You done with the blanket you started? No, not yet. I've not finished it yet. Where I did Vlogmas, I spent, as you can imagine, every single evening editing. Editing takes a lot, like, and my editing skills, they're not up there, let's be fair. But it's so time consuming. Is Danny at work tonight? Yes, he is. And I was thinking, because Danny's shifts have changed and he's going to be doing a lot more sort of later shifts, I could come live more because I find it really, really fun. How did I get Pixie? I, I bought her online. Like, what? I think it was like, it was a site. I can't remember. It was a pet site. But she was local. really like your view on life ain't nothing wrong with second hand I totally agree it's really good for the environment it is so many people are just like easy come easy go easy come easy go and it saddens me absolutely saddens me when we go when we've gone to the dump like the they call it a recycling centre when we was getting rid of all the earth in the bottom of the garden like the stuff people were throwing away. I was coming back with stuff. <laughs> I was like, that's just the bikes, like donate them. It's awful. Hi Claire, I'm really well. How are you? I hope you're doing well. You've been poorly, I know. So yeah. I'm so, and if I've been missing all your comments, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to do my best. What do I edit with? I only edit with my phone. But the thing is, because of the way I record, I'll record like so much in the day. Most of it's like rubbish, in honesty. And then when I come to edit it, I've got, I'll have like five hours worth of footage that I have to then get down to as little as possible. And if you think about things that I usually speed up, that's very, very long. Like if I'm doing a cleaning vlog, for instance, you know, I just keep it going and it's just recording and recording and recording and recording. So when I come to sit down to edit it, you can imagine I have to speed it up and then try and capture certain things to make it, I don't know. It, it does take really long. I wish there was a quicker way. I'm glad you're doing well. Kirsty, I have taken about four bags of clothes that I hardly wear to my local charity shop. That's brilliant because not only does the money then go to charity, but you're also helping someone in the community and helping the environment. I think it's fantastic. Would you, Danny, and the boys do a meet and greet? I'm not, I'm not sure about that. Honestly, I'm not sure who'd want to meet us. What is your favourite Yankee Candle? Black cherry is my favourite scent. If you come into big money, would you stay in the UK or live abroad? I'd stay in the UK. I'm too. I'm quite scared of change, in honesty. Although Danny has spoken about moving. He's Danny was born in Germany. Danny has family in Germany, so he, he's often spoke about that. He's he's also spoken about moving to Australia with his job because the laws are the same, sort of very very similar between Australia and UK he's even brought that up he's like I could do a straight swap like we could up our lives and move to Australia and he'll keep his same job but that's a big change I'm like no 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 would you ever film with a camera lots of people going from the thing is, I did think about that that's a lot of work then that's even more work and the good thing about my phone is when I'm on the school run, I can sit there and do some editing while I'm on the school run. Whereas if I had was doing it on a camera and a laptop, I'd have to take everything with me. So it's really, really convenient the way I do it. I know the quality isn't the greatest. Um, I, I just, yeah, it's, it's so much easier. And it goes to show, you know, 
it's a bit fun. I, it's not mm. like overly serious for me. It's not like I have millions of subscribers mm. and it's fun. This is my hobby. I love it. Mm. Hey Gina, I absolutely love YouTube. So, and you guys stick with me for whatever reason, but you do. Even though, you know, my quality of my recording ain't great. <clears throat> like I said, I've been going through my old videos and watching them to see whether or not I want to repost them. I'm watching them going, I think my editing skills have come up a little bit and I would have done it completely different now to what I did. But that's the fun of YouTube. You live and you learn and you get better as you do it. So I'm not saying I'd never get a camera. I think it just depends on how far it goes. I think that's my Danny. Is this still live? I can't tell. Yes, Emily, we're still live. The quality is fine, just not maybe the edit on laptop. Yeah, I agree. Hello, my love, we are live. Hello, Please love. do not swear. <laughs> <laughs> Danny's just walked through the door. See, he finished work, he finished work at 10. Ish. Ish. Well, I'm only 20 minutes, I was 20 minutes behind. That's not bad, actually. That's not bad at all, though. Do you want to come say hello to the people? I'm sure they'd love to see you. Are they actually there? Are they really? Are they dogs going garrotty, you know what dogs are like. Oh, that's a spot, that's a spot, that's a, that's a spot right there. <laughs> they were saying, hi Danny! Come what, you actually are live? I'm live, yeah, I've been live oh, for so long oh as well. Oh my god, um, <laughs> I can't see anybody. There, 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 there! <laughs> what are you doing? Um. What was I doing? Yeah. I was just explaining why I put all my videos on private. Oh, this malarkey, yeah. This malarkey. I still don't get it. You don't get it. No. But you have said that you think I'll be all right. You yeah. ain't got your badge on, have you? No. Don't show your number. What badge? Your number. Um, yeah. Just cover your number, because he has his pips on, so you'll see his number. I don't want that to Oh, I wish I had pips. I've got pips. Oh, not pips. That thingy. Don't, that don't, 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 don't. What's it called? It's confidential. I know, it's quite, that's why I'm saying don't show it. Epilets. Epilets. Say meat, different gravy. Uh, I've got to go. Say hi to Louise. Who's she's, Louise? She's hi, there. Louise. <laughs> what have you got? Say hi to Wendy. Uh, hello, Wendy. Is that our Wendy? No, no, no. At least I don't think... So. Do you know who's found my YouTube? Who? Paul. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I was talking to Hi, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> um, Connor, when I finish this... A video. If you just go and watch the beginning of it, you'll see it there. Oh, Cameron put hi, Dad. He's upstairs being a on troll patrol. There are. Oh, they're all saying hi to you. Say hi to Rachel. Say hi to my aunt Mandy. She watching as well. Yeah. I've got to come now. <laughs> Say hi to Simone. <sighs> Simone? Simone, say that. It's Simone? Yeah, okay. Simone Dutch. I always worry about saying things wrong. Oh, no, Hayley. Say hi to Hayley. Hayley. I'll tell you what, the problem is. It's so because, small, isn't yeah, it? No, that makes us look really big. <laughs> I know. And then you look at your face and you sort of think, <gasps> is that what I look like in a spoon? <laughs> say hi to Kirsty. Hi, Kirsty. <laughs> <gasps> I'm fine. <laughs> Uh, it goes quick as well, isn't it? Isn't it? Hi, Becky. <laughs> God, if my wife knew I was talking to all these women. <laughs> <laughs> you do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> cool. You're going to go and have a bath or something now? Yeah, well, thanks, sandwich. Have you eaten? Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> you didn't? I had a little wrap. <laughs> a little. So I've got three meals left at work. I need uh, microwave. I Would you, did you manage to have anything that any of the meals today. That's what I mean. No. 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 When I, I've been trying to make little parcels for Danny of leftovers, sticking them in the freezer, and then he can take them to work. The problem is he don't always get a chance to eat them because he has a freezer at work and he has um, a microwave at work, but it's actually if he's at home, if he's at work to actually get there if he's not out doing jobs. Cameron's watching you. Cameron's on Troll Patrol upstairs. He's up there like, if there's anyone that's being a troll, you can try and you know boot the, them out. You know what the problem is though? Mm. I stick my food in the microwave and forget about it. 
Oh. So I literally, I, I warm it up about five times in a row. I don't think that's good for you. Can you put that dog in the dining room? Because she's so Pixie. sad. Pixie! Now she's right next to me now, look. You stirred her. <laughs> uh, sorry. Love your Morrison's yellow sticker. What time do you go? You know, if you look at any of my videos where I do my shopping hauls, the information's in there. Like I get that comment so much that I just put it into the description box so you can see it there. Different shops are different, but I generally find sometimes, and it depends on who's working. Sometimes my shop is out at like half six, sometimes seven, just depends who's working. Excuse me, so it might be just worth checking out your store and seeing when they do it. Uh, is Danny an officer man of patrol car? I'm sorry Ruth, I don't really understand that. He's a community community officer. You should do lives more often. I would like to, I would really, really like to. Like I said, Danny's on lates a lot more now. So I have, I have time in the evenings where I could be watching Netflix or I could be chatting to you. And this is so much fun. This is real fun because it really, I get to be more interactive with you guys. Like I try and get to my comments as much as possible. Um, um that's a lie. I'm a liar. I, <laughs> I get overwhelmed by my comments. Like I won't get to it a couple of days and there'll be so many and I'll be like, oh, oh, and then I'll try and get in and do all of them in one go. Um, so this way I get to speak to more of you in one go and it's more personal and stuff. I do try and get to as many comments as I can. I honestly do, but it's a lot. Ask Danny what happened to him fasting. Danny, how did you find your fasting, babe? Uh, fasting? Yeah, when you was fasting. When you're doing it, I found it really easy, all the while you're doing it. Um, but as soon as, um, yeah, and that, that feeling of hunger sort of goes, and then when it comes to the next day, you sort of think, oh, I've earned that. Oh, I yeah. could have that as well. And I think it's all like water weight. Um, you lose it, but then you gain it back and some. Mm, no. You I think, think so? no, the really good thing about fasting is it empties your gut. And then once you actual once once you're empty inside, whatever you put inside your body, that's what you're that's that's the nutrition you're getting. Mm. So fasting is really I think is really, really good. And when I did it, um on those two days, like what, what I think it was on a Wednesday and then on a Saturday. It was Saturday. like a little dog begging for food it was. No, I wasn't. No, you I know wasn't. those eyes. <laughs> um sorry. But yeah. yeah, I found it really positive. It's so oh so positive you never did it again. Oh, I'm doing this Yeah, you could have got me some McDonald's and some of them. We all want McDonald's now. Oh, wrap of the day, garlic. Yum. Wrap of the day is great unless it's a spicy one because that's not the one. That's too spicy. And I like spicy food, but that's too much. We know the boys' favourite colour. What's yours? My favourite colour is like black and green is edging in there. At one stage, my favourite colour was purple. My favourite colours sort of change within stages of my life. It's never sort of just black. Like, if I always have black cars. Um, I'm getting comments on my YouTube videos. I'm just going to swipe them up. Um, generally, I wear a lot of black clothes. I like the colour black. How's the pond fish? I've seen a little baby one. I think the rest of them are sleeping. I did, did go and check on the pond. My pen, pond looks disgusting. It's all green and it is a good clean out. The filter I think needs cleaning and stuff. The whole garden needs a whole lot of work. You know, this, this time of year, it, it kind of falls to the wayside, doesn't it? Would you ever do a video on what you give Danny and the boys for lunches? Danny takes like leftovers in a pot like a frozen pot and then I have a video that is a vlog which I will upload at some point I'll re-upload it um the boys have like a sandwich and then they have snack bins and they're allowed to help themselves to something they have to have a fruit they have to have a dairy that kind of thing uh -huh. 
Helen, would you mind if I messaged you on Snapchat for Instagram advice on the coil? Um, Instagram's the best one because honestly, I can't really work Snapchat. I barely go on it because I don't really understand it. Does Danny work out of a police station or in a patrol car? Kind of both. Like they have, um, it's not really a station, it's like a, a community centre. Uh, and then he works out of that, but obviously then he goes out in the car, he also does foot patrol and stuff like that. In my opinion, you and your family are the best family in the UK. That is very sweet, but that's a very, very high standard. And um, we're not there. <laughs> we just live our lives and do the best. Nobody's perfect. Could Danny do a DIY video, please? Oh my gosh. I've said to Danny so many times that he should have his own channel because he is so clever at DIY. So, so clever. He's so clever. He can fix practically anything. Um, are you guys completely done with the remodeling of your bathroom? No, we still haven't done the glass and I'm, I want to find a cupboard to go under the sink, but I want it, either Danny needs to make it to fit or I need to find something like second hand or find some second hand wood because wood is expensive. But if I can get an old, like a TV unit, Danny can make something to fit. So I need something big enough that, and then that, that will be done then. Do you ever go to spiritualist churches? I do. Um, I don't necessarily go to the ones around locally where I live, but in in my old area, because uh, I'm from Tottenham, obviously, in Wood Green, there's a really good spiritualist church. And every time I'm down that way, if it's a Wednesday or a Sunday, I'll be in the church. Let me try. I'm trying to go back. I can't believe this still. I've been it, it on for like. Uh, 76 minutes and there's still 170 of you watching me. You're crazy, the lot of you. It's 11 o'clock at night, we've been on for so long. Danny did a great job doing your Audi shop the other day. He's so good. Any chance of going to Northamptonshire to do my hair and nails? <laughs> Bless your heart. Are they tarot cards you showed on our Instagram? What, the Alice in Wonderland ones? I do, I have quite a few sets of tarot cards. Did you hear my knee then? Um, yeah, I do like things like that. And I have a few. If you don't mind me asking, do you, are you still trying for a baby? I've addressed that, I've addressed that a couple of times. In short, I'm over it. Danny cut it off. That's, that's where I'm at with that. Didn't I, Danny? Is that I told you to go and get the snip because I'm over it. Yeah. <laughs> Danny's like, no, we'll just keep trying. I'm like, I'm over it, I'm over it. Because every month is just so mentally draining. Do you know what I mean? At this point, I'm just like, well, cut it off, I'm over it. If Danny wasn't in the police force, what other job would he do? Um, before the job that Danny does now, he was a mechanic because he was a royal engineer in the army, so when he left that, he then he then became a mechanic. He actually had a dream the other night. He was telling me that he was he dreamt that he'd give up his job and then return to be a mechanic, and he really loved it. And sometimes when things go wrong with the cars, he actually really likes to get his hands dirty and get in get under the bonnet of a car and be a real man <laughs> and smell like a real man. <laughs> yeah, I'm only teasing with him. Do you like cats? I love cats. Danny don't like cats. I really, really want a cat. Danny says no. He says they'll scratch up our furniture, but... Have your boys considered joining the military? I think they're too young to decide whether or not they would want to join. I would support them if they did. Will you see be seeing the new James Bond film? Not really my type of film, unfortunately, Connor. I actually love watching you, your voice is calming and helps with my anxiety. Oh, bless your heart. I suffer from anxiety. I know what that's like. <laughs> Stop ignoring my question. Have you? I know you've seen it. I'm sorry, Jack Frost. I haven't seen it. Message it again now. If I can scroll up, I'll find it. The messages come through so quickly. Uh, why does Liam like to have long hair? It covers one of his eyes. I, I think it's a little bit, it's his security blanket. He likes to have long hair and I support my children in their choices. If he wants to have long hair, he can have long hair. And 
Danny always says because in Danny's, well when I met Danny he had about as much hair as he has today so Danny always says to Liam that no doubt he'll lose his hair quite early like Danny did so make the most of it while he's got it. Do you have a second choice to learning hairdressing? I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> yeah, message it again, Jack. I don't mind answering it. If I see it, I'll definitely answer it, but I haven't seen it. I've scrolled right back and I can't see it, unfortunately. Um, would you ever have that vivid red hair colour? I love red hair. I've, I've had red hair before. My hair doesn't hold on to red very well. It, it fades very, very quickly in my hair for some reason. Sherry's hair holds on to red beautifully. I did her hair last week, but she had more of like a purpley red, and I did her nails to match, and it looked stunning. I do like red hair. Hey, Mohammed. How are you? Um, do you get any payment from YouTube? I I do, I do, but it's not a lot. Like, I think people think when you're on YouTube you get loads and loads of money. It doesn't work that way, unless you have like loads and loads of subscribers. But I do it for the fun. I enjoy it. I don't think he even asked a question. Yeah, I can't find it if he did. What does the tattoo on your arm mean? Um, this one, it doesn't mean anything, it's just a pattern. It's just, I just like tattoos. Danny has none. I'm Danny's bit of rough, innit, babe? <laughs> 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 it's because I'm too indecisive. <laughs> I was like, oh, I wanna have this, wanna have that, wanna have the other. Uh, no, I won't have any. <clears throat> Do you ever get offered brand deals? you should do them. Um, I got the FabFitFun box, which was wonderful. I get emails daily, like Danny can contest to it. But they're always of the most random, obscure things. And honestly, I'm not gonna, I don't know if it's like, I'm not gonna sell myself short, or I'm not gonna sell out. Like if I accept anything, it'd have to be something that I would either be prepared to buy for, by myself, something I could really stand behind. Um, I can't be bought easily, do you know what I mean? I can't be bought full stop. Uh, the FabFitFun box, I genuinely think they're great. Like you get all these goodies and what girl doesn't want a box full of goodies? So yeah, I would be happy to accept one of them and do a video on it. As for other things, no, I'm not gonna sell myself like that. Do you know what I mean? I'm just. And I'm sure this, all of you would be the same. You wouldn't sell yourself. Oh, thank you, Lisa. I would like to be a therapist or a teaching assistant with children with disabilities. That is a fantastic thing to do, Kirsty. That would be an amazing thing to do. You could help so many children. One of his eyes are going to be weaker because it's always covered. Um, maybe. I don't know about that. It's not always covered. Maybe when you see him on camera because he's not as, ex you know, over the top as the others. Do you know what I mean? So when he's on camera, he's a bit more shyer. He is coming out of himself a little bit though. Bless him. Would you stand behind women using material-based sanitary towels? Do you agree that wouldn't women shouldn't have to buy sanitary products? Just curious. Tink, I do agree with you. <laughs> I don't think that women should have to buy their own sanitary products because they give away condoms to men. 
and the women so why not give away sanitary towels it's not like we can help it i do actually use reusable sanitary products i don't use disposable ones i do have some disposable ones like i bought them in the past and they're good for emergencies or blah 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 but i use reusable ones they're fantastic and they help save the environment you know I get a lot of comments like about food in plastics. Oh my gosh, I wish we didn't have to buy foods in plastic. It drives me mad. But what are you gonna do when you go food shopping and 99% of it is, is in plastic? Um, it kind of, that kind of stuff kind of sets at the top, but we do what we can. I buy second hand or I can and, you know, we do what we can. I recycle and we do what we can. If we all make little steps, I turn everything off by I drive everyone mad. Everything is off at the switch when it's not in use. Everything. So, we do what we can. Stop eating meat and it'll help the environment too. Absolutely. There are world streaming right now. One thing guaranteed most are not cool. There are world streaming right now one thing i can guarantee most of them are not cool i'm sorry jack frost see i read your comment i don't understand the question where's your wallpaper from it's so cozy thank you it is from b and q i've had it a very very long time poor cameron having to talk to us about sanitary stuff i know he's probably like don't listen, just look at the comments. <laughs> I probably should make some of you my like moderators or something. So like people that I see all the time, people that I can trust. That way if I ever do come live, because the more moderators I have, you know, the better the chat will run because then any of you can boot out a troll and block them. So if you want to be a moderator, if I've seen your name before, we've chatted before, and you want to be a moderator, put your hand up. Hand in the air. <laughs> what kind of films do you like to watch? I love a film where a woman is like, do you know what I mean? Like, I like strong women. I like films like that. I'm not into mushy, mushy stuff. I don't want, to, I don't want a film to make me cry. It'd be hard pushed, but I don't. I don't want it. I don't want a film to make me cry. I don't like films that scare me. I'm very particular. You see, why would you want to be scared? I don't like films that make you want to cry. Why would you want to be sad? I like to feel empowered as a woman. So I like Tomb Raider and <laughs> I don't know. I'm just being silly, I suppose. Let me try and put you in a timeout. So I think I'm going to get off here soon because we've been going for a long time. And I'm sure most of us have got kids to take school in the morning. I haven't because Danny's on late, so he'll be doing it. Wonder Woman. Oh my gosh, I watched Wonder Woman on Netflix. That was amazing. I really, really liked that. Yeah, she whooped. Loved it. Hi, Danielle. Hi, JJ. Please do more lives. Oh, yeah, I think I, think I will. Definitely need more mods. I agree. Poor Cameron's little fingers are working to the bone here, people. I'm so sorry if I couldn't get to your comments. I'm so sorry if you feel like I'm ignoring you. I'm really, really not. I did the best that I could. But I am going to... Off I go. I'm going to leave this up for a little while. And um, Cameron needs a wage. Oh, I love him. We pay his phone bill. We feed him. <laughs> and check out Stranger Things clothes in Primark. I've seen that. That looks fantastic. I'm honestly, guys, I am off. It was wonderful talking to you all. Thank you so much for being here with me. And we'll do this again. Turn on your notifications. I'd never say that. But if you want to catch my lives, that's probably the only way that you're going to catch them. Because I am quite a sporadic person. And I just randomly will decide to do things like this. So thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.